Hey folks, welcome back. Um, who wants to see the 4HF in action? Yeah, all of you. Yeah. Let's just zoom out. It's as much as I can go on the zoom. So we all want to see the 4HF in action. Yeah? Right, I've got my test record on. There we go. The stylus is fucked, so don't expect a high fi But it is working on both channels. And that's the original cartridge. Or the original, should I say it's the original cartridge I got with it. That's the treble, the bass, and the balance is at the back there. That's radio or gram. There's no radio on it, like you plug one into the back. See what it sounds like with the lid down, it usually sound better. I better not turn it too loud, my neighbour's in bed upstairs and it's what, stupid o'clock in the morning. And that's it folks. Uh, the turntable doesn't work, the turntable brake on this 4HF doesn't work, but I'm not bothered about that. Because I don't like that little ding it makes when it hits the turntable anyway. And I'd rather it do that. Anyway, uh, it's only the little foam piece that's worn. If I choose to, I can replace that, it's no problem. But anyway, I'm not interested in the turntable brake. The... Uh, the turntable works are lovely as you can see, it's uh, a service that and uh, that's turned out really good. Uh, the amplifier's been done, uh, this just needs a new stylus it's good to go. Uh, although it ain't going anywhere, I'm keeping it, I think. But uh, I want to get another, try and find another Dynatron speaker or another speaker of uh, equal vintage. Uh, to, you know, yeah, yeah, anyway, that's it working, it's all done, I've just got to put the cover back on here, but I want to spray these controls before I do that, that's why I've left the cover off the front, off the back here, anyway folks, it's all done, it's all wired, it's working, it's, uh, you know, it was a bit of a pain in the ass to wire the deck back up, I mean, uh, now I know why somebody didn't fucking bother, because uh, it was all unwired when I got it, now I know why, uh, because it was a bastard to wire up, but I've, I've done it, I'd take the motorboard out and everything, I thought I'd put right, right load of fucking about to wire it back up, but it's done, because you can't get your iron in otherwise, 
because I put fresh wires in because it was a bit, uh, the wires were, uh, uh, not to say the least, they were a bit rotten so I decided to replace the wiring from the, from the, uh, from the tag board, from the tag board with the two uh, RCA sockets on. I decided to replace the wiring from there to the uh, bottom of the deck and I put slightly longer wiring in as well so that if the deck has to come out then it can come out and it's not restricted to a little bit of wiring that's there it's you know it can come out quite easily and uh, we're not bad with uh, very little hum it's about normal Anyway folks, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for watching and more to come later. Bye for now.